He is good. Come on, I'm hitting you. I'm hitting you. How's it going, everyone? I'm Aaron Nick, and welcome back to Spooky's House of Jump Scares. I'm going room 600 to 700 in this part. And in the last one, I encountered the Deer God, and I got an axe. So, can I hit this? Up in your step. Wait. Okay, can't really do anything with it. I haven't noticed anything I can do with it besides uh, destroy boarded up doors. Maybe I can hit some enemies with it. That might, you know, maybe if like an older enemy appears, I can hit him with it, but as far as I know, there's really nothing I can do with it. This is a long room. Okay, I was getting worried like something was gonna be at the end of it. I feel like halls are getting longer. They actually are making, ooh, more games. All right, spook, spooky carts. All the spook, okay, there's one more game. All right. E. All right, how do I play? Okay, I didn't know how to play. How do I activate nitrous? It's fun. I like the music too. I have tried to figure out how to activate nitrous. <laughs> I just swerved off that dude. Oh, this tells me something every time I hit a car. Checkpoint, nitrous. I think it's like the other game and it just goes around in circles. Yeah, it's so cool. I like that they put this little mini game in this. Like, um, I when I played uh, Doom Three, they had that turkey puncher game. I spent way too long just sitting there hitting them, just because I thought it was funny. All right, that was fun while it lasted. Thank you, thank you. Oh, I did stop the record player in the last part though. With that creepy ass music. Continuing on. This. Oh, somebody. Oh, the fucking walls are gonna change color again. God damn it. I hate this. Oh, okay. Alright, what is this one? making me nervous. I don't like this. I don't like when they give me a... This old place is somehow even worse than the new GL labs. Although it seems to have been constructed with a much larger budget than the new labs. Nothing works quite right. I can see why it was abandoned so quickly. I wonder if there really is anything here worth salvaging. Okay. So I turned on the power. So it's a little less creepy until the power switches back off. Almost as like a doom or something. That's kind of what it's reminding me of. Just because I was talking about it just a minute ago. But yeah, it really is like space oriented, like maybe like dead space or doom. Something's gonna be chasing me and I have to hit these. That vent is bloody. I have to go through the bloody vents. Oh. This is this is neat and creepy at the same time. Gonna hit that. Hit that. Come on. I don't, don't want to stay at the creepy vent. Alright. 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 What's this? Spooky just said that there were things we needed to salvage from this place. I'm starting to worry that a loose specimen may be included in the list of things for us to retrieve. The power just shut off again. Is everything broken in here? Oh, no. More vents. I don't know what to do. I can't. I don't. I can't think well, I feel strange, I'm hiding from the thing, I feel that something is growling on my skin, I can't seem to tear it off fast enough, and I'm losing a lot of blood. 
just uh, to stay calm. Oh no. I have to keep it close. It seems something when it gets too far away, something I can't outrun. What the hell? What was all that? There's like another thing standing there. Okay, did I, did I escape? Is it not chasing me? Normally they all chase me. I'm a little um, concerned. There's no sound. There's no. Uh, there's no chase. So it was like a floating like head thing. No. I'm not turning around. I'm not. Yeah, I'm turning around. Nope. And see anything. I'm not turning around twice, is what I should say. Because I'm not dealing with, uh... That, that mannequin thing again. Turning around and seeing him. In this room, in particular. Alright. I'm, I'm actually a little frustrated I didn't get chased there by anything. You know, one thing I started thinking, too, is, uh just now actually is maybe the game like is starting to lure me into false sense of securities and maybe like enemies are gonna start attacking me like in random rooms where there's no music or there's no chase sequences I wanna go back I, I just thought about it I could probably check what those other things were like the deer god I like how I just come up with names for everything like there's the one guy that's the deer god I don't really know what to think about the um the last guys in like the space area. One of them was just like a head floating. <laughs> Fuck you! I hit you with the oh! I did hit him. Come on. I want to fight. That's probably a bad idea, though. I don't know. I don't know what to do. Come on. Alright. Health's going back up, so... It's actually a good thing I'm doing this. Oh. Longer room. Come on. Let's tussle. <laughs> I just like doing that to him. Look at his creepy face, dude. He's got that smile. The smile that goes for days. Alright. Go somewhere. Oh, this room's gonna take a minute. Okay, I was considering turning around. Follow your selfish desires, follow your natural instinct. All you are is just an animal. It's much easier than trying to think. How did they kill me? I have no clue. Oh, damn. I have to get back there again? I mean, I know it's only a couple rooms in, but... 
Okay, this time, okay, I have to keep it close. I have to keep it close. It becomes something else when it gets too far away. Something I, I can't outrun. So I just have to. Okay, all right. I have no clue. I just didn't look that time. Keep it close. What does that even mean? Oh shit. You have to keep it close, so I have to stay close to it, otherwise it I think it was just a bug about the first time when it didn't like chase me. It's slow. What the hell is it? It's so weird looking. Can I get to the door? Alright, it doesn't do anything when I'm walking slowly back when I'm near it. So I can just assume I can do this the whole time, but it's... Ah, oh, fuck you in these long rooms. Become something else when you become too far away. So is that why it was like, it was like a gaping mouth or something? <laughs> oh, this makes no sense. What's it based off of? Okay, it was in like a space laboratory-like thing. That's what it does. It's it's a bunch of different things. I wasn't even that far away from you. Fuck you. Wish I could just hit you with my axe. Possibly could. Oh. What the hell? Okay. This is going too too slow. Bye bye. I think the walls count towards being close to it. What the hell? Is that toast? Alright, he might not be following me anymore. MP is the he still is. Okay. Oh, that whole ordeal. That was an ordeal. That's what you call an ordeal. I hope that thing never shows up again. That wasn't even, wasn't even that scary. It wasn't even, like, fun. It was just... Cat Doss. Alright, specimen 7. Constantly changing form and edge depending on subject's personality. Most common form resembles a wall moving... Anatomy symbols only effective on subjects with past trauma history of psychological issues. So that might be the cat. What I thought was the cat. Okay. Active fatalities 149. Absorption. A floating creature that appears in a test chamber a few years ago after it was filled with what was believed to just be usual violent deer. Specimen seems to engulf subjects and absorb them into its torso region. Proved extremely effective.
perspective on violent subjects. So, dear God. today for some reason. Yeah, it's um it's a creepy pasta. I, mean, I think I remember talking about it in a previous part. Oh fuck you. I actually went and researched it a little bit more after playing this. It's creepy. Oh, what the hell? It just made that creepy sound. It wasn't actually I was expecting that face. The creepy ass face that's drawn on. That's a skull. So who are all these fatalities? Are they like the scientists and stuff? Because I know the scientists supposedly like die in their sections, but who's really, really the ones who are coming to this mansion? Do they just invite people and this is going to be locked? Yeah. Stop doing that. Please don't be another set of rooms or something. I am so... This game's got me tense. Brain room. Maybe that's, uh... Maybe that's the dismantled skull thing. Like, maybe that's its brain. If they, did, they dismantled the skull. The red skull. <laughs> I hear music. You know that not not like not like happy music, but like creepy music. Oh shit! I just realized I am almost at six six six. What's gonna happen at room six hundred and sixty six? Knowing this game, it's not gonna be fun. In all honesty, I will almost be disappointed if there's nothing at 666. This, it's gonna go from a normal room and it's just gonna be, oh shit. They didn't do anything for it. They really, the developers of this game really thought about it and they didn't do anything about 666. Any new games? No, just. Same three. I might just play one of those games to relax one of those times. But I was saying the developers did uh, was it? I don't remember this. Oh it's the good guy. It is the good guy. Finally. I'm actually excited, I haven't seen him in a while. I, you didn't see that? I didn't do anything? That wasn't out of the ordinary? I'd rather face this guy than anyone else, to be honest. He just put, he 
puts the goo piles that just slow you down, but besides that, it's fairly slow. I'm in this room, I can just dodge him. Okay, but I I am going to write a review about this game after I'm done, saying how disappointed I am that I got to room 666 and there was nothing. Oh, it's this one. Damn it. Go back. Can he go through walls? I think he can. That They actually got me with that too. <laughs> they lock it was that one every single time and then they decided to lock it. The one time I needed it. Alright, come on. This is just slow. Alright. Ah, he's gone. Alright. Thank God. Only 18 more rooms. Oh, no, my review is going to say, um, you know, one out of four skulls, uh, there was no, uh, there was no scary porous monster at 666, and I'm sadly disappointed. No, I, I guess it's fine, I understand. They probably just didn't think about it, but... That's seriously where I would have put something. There would have been something scary as all hell there. That would have been the scariest room of the game. Hello. He just had a happy sound. He's like, hey, I'm a pumpkin. How's it going? He was like, I'm Mr. Skeleton Bones. Please pay attention to me. Alright, I'm just trying to get through the last couple of rooms. Or, or, you know what's gonna happen? I'm gonna get to the, I'm gonna open it up to room 700, and I'm gonna be in room 666. It's gonna be the same room, but it's gonna be creepier. Chandelier room? Okay. One more to test my theory. It's gonna happen. It's the same, it might not be a side character that leaves notes for me. It's the same, no. Ah. Alright, well, that was up to 700. I, I don't know, that, that was an interesting set. That was definitely different than my other sets. So, this game's getting, it's getting harder. If I die twice, the game's getting tougher, and I'm sure I'm going to die some more. I have 300 more rooms to go, and I imagine I'm going to die at least once in each set. Not just because of it's hard, just because I'm going to die in stupid ways. But for now, thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, please go down below, let me know. Like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video.